Downtown Omaha is growing and with that comes new additions from the riverfront revitalization to bringing Mutual of Omaha's headquarters downtown. But many who live downtown say there's one crucial thing missing, a proper grocery store. That's why KETV is investigating the downtown food desert and what could change. Living on Leavenworth Street right by the Missouri River. I wish there was a grocery store downtown. Austin Ford says he has to plan out his day whenever it's time to buy groceries. I get them at, in Council Bluffs on the, at the Hy-Vee on Broadway or I'll drive down to Baker's on Saddle Creek, or I'll go to Hy-Vee on like 50th and Center. Although there are small scale stores downtown with high demand and few options, costs can be high. There's Cubbies, but Cubbies is really expensive. Cubbies president Delone Wilson says there is a reason for their prices being higher than other popular grocery stores. We're a, a small family owned business with 37 locations and we don't have the buying power at Hy-Vee or, or Kroger or Baker's does, so, or Walmart for that matter, so that's, that's what goes into that. Food is a basic need. Shelter is a basic need. Clothing is a basic need. Alexis Bromley is the executive director of One Omaha, a nonprofit that aims to help neighborhoods empower themselves. Grocery stores are very important to a healthy neighborhood. If you think access to fresh food, if you don't have that, then you may going, be going to a convenience store or you may be going to a smaller scale store and buying uh, food, maybe at a higher price, but it's more processed. Marco Floriani, the city's deputy chief of staff of economic development, says north of Dodge Street in downtown can be considered a food desert. Part of downtown is in a federally recognized food desert, and there are programs at the USDA uh, and other federal programs, new market tax credits, opportunity zones to help incentivize uh, grocery store development. As for Ford, he says it's about a 20 minute drive each way whenever he gets groceries. Super inconvenient, not having a grocery store close to us downtown. Um, I think I kind of speak for all my friends in that regard. You heard both Floriani and Bromley mention incentivizing grocery store development. In part two of this series, you'll hear more from Omaha's chief of staff of economic development on what is needed to get a grocery store and why he says now is the perfect time for one to come to downtown.